And Labor Day weekend brings people from all over to Santa Barbara and cities up and down the coast. News Channel reporter Mina Wahab shares hotel trends that people can expect this long weekend. Labor Day weekend is typically a huge boost for the hotel industry, a boost that could definitely help in light of recent stats. According to Visit Santa Barbara, the hotel vacancy rate was 18.6% this past July. That's higher than last summer. People are now exploring uh, some of the international destinations. We also see the return of visitors um, going back to the urban cities. Uh, this year, there were a lot of very popular concerts in some of our nearby urban cities. And though a lot of people travel to big cities over the summer, many are now escaping to places like Alice All Ranch, which is sold out for the long weekends. Young families are looking to show their children um, you know, just how beautiful California countryside is, to have an experience to ride a horse for the very first time, to not be on their tablets or on their cell phones all the time, to actually reconnect as a family. Tourism experts say Santa Barbara's unique position as a small town with big city attractions will continue to draw visitors long term. We actually have something for everyone, anything from bed and breakfast to boutique hotels to um, luxury resorts. We took a look at a few hotels around town. Uh, we ended up staying closer to Goleta. Proximity to the beach is a deciding factor for many. We look for something close to close to the beaches and close to the sea, and that was really nice. We're very happy with that. Tourism experts say they expect to see an uptick in visitors to the area as we transition to fall, when special events like the Goleta Lemon Festival and the Santa Barbara Harbor and Seafood Festival are set to take place. In Santa Barbara, I'm News Channel reporter Mina Wahab.